welcome back to my channel. So I kind of just wanted to make a video sitting down, chatting with you guys, talking about some things that have been happening in my life. Um, I kind of took a long break from YouTube. I think I haven't posted in about three weeks. Um, I've been kind of quiet across all my other social medias as well. Um, but I will get into that. But first, I want to talk about an announcement that I have. Um, as you guys know by now, I am part of the YouTube Artist Collective. If you guys don't know what that is, long story short, a bunch of artists here on YouTube, we make art every few months on a theme that you guys decide. We sell the artworks. It's really fun. The whole community gets involved and makes art on that theme as well. So it's not just us. It's a whole art community thing. It's really, really cool. But anyway, for the Christmas season, we decided to make a calendar for the 2018 year. So you get, I think, 12 pages and each like month of the calendar has, excuse me, sorry. Um, each month of the calendar has art that members of the collective have made for the collective. So not only do you get a calendar, but you get all of the artworks in it as well. I think there's like, there's 12 months and most pages have two artworks. So that's like 24 art pieces that you get in this calendar. And it's really exciting and really cool. And it's a great way to support all of us here at the collective and to get something really neat for yourself too. And I'm the kind of person who loves to plan things. Like I have a mini planner, I have a big planner, I have one of those desk planners. So I am obsessed with calendars and planning and trying to keep some of my life organized. So I am definitely gonna be buying one for myself and I'll be showing you guys what it looks like too once I get it because it should get here in a few days. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to see all of our art in one place and it's gonna be really cool. And yeah, if you wanna pick one up, the link will be in the description. They are $30 and like I said, you get 20 to 24 art pieces in this calendar so when you're done with a month you can like rip the page out and then hang them on your wall which is what i do with all of my calendars so yeah very awesome okay so where have i been um if you guys have been keeping up with my last videos you will know that my husband joined the coast guard um he finally came home which was very nice i finally get to see him and touch his face again and talk to him and it's really nice because he's not in basic training anymore he's with me um, but that also means that we had to uproot our entire life. We lived in Las Vegas, Nevada, which is the West Coast. And then we took like a six day road trip across the entire United States because our base of action now was Boston, Massachusetts. So we did a whole road trip. I think we went through, what is it, eight or nine states. We went through like Utah and Colorado, Kansas. I've never seen Kansas in my life. Missouri. Missouri was surprisingly beautiful, by the way. Like anyone who lives in Missouri, shout out. Your state is gorgeous. Ohio was gorgeous as well. We like went in the middle of fall. Like we just did all this like a few days ago. So we got to see like the changing of the seasons and me living in Las Vegas, like we don't have a fall. And I know you guys have heard this from me many times before, but we don't have like a fall season. We don't have a lot of trees and our leaves don't get orange and yellow and they don't really fall. But I got to see like the most beautiful colors on my way up here, especially going through Ohio and New York. Like some of the most beautiful colors I've ever seen in nature ever. It was so so amazing to see all those different colors and even though we were in the car the whole time because we were really just making a beeline to boston because we had to get here so that my husband could go to work um because we only had so many days of travel time but so we kind of blew through all of the states we didn't really get to really get out or take a look at all of them save for the occasional gas station pit stop um but in the car because we were driving like eight hours a day so we get eight hours of just the most beautiful scenery like ever. It was so cool. Um, but anyway, so that has been my last few days. Uh, we finally made it to Boston and then we needed to find a place to live. Um, and it's kind of stressful trying to find a place to live when you don't already have a place to live. So we stayed at an Airbnb for I think like three days and then they told us to leave because we were staying too long. So then we had to stay in a hotel and let me tell you, I am so over hotels. Like we had to stay in a hotel every night we were on the road. And then for another three nights after the Airbnb, even the Airbnb was kind of like a hotel. It was someone's house, but it still had that like 
it wasn't home, you know, it, was, it didn't belong to us. So it felt really weird and I'm so over being in hotels. My poor dog too is like also done. She's like right over here. She is stressed like out of her mind. So she's definitely done with hotels. Poor thing had to stay in a crate like almost the whole time because she's, anyway. So she's done, I was done, my husband was done. I was also done with eating fast food. Um, I tried to eat as vegan as possible on the road. There were some nights where it just wasn't feasible because we'd get in at like 10 at night and we're just so exhausted from driving all day so we just order a pizza. So I have not been eating the best vegan possible which makes me really upset. I was eating completely vegetarian though so my options were still pretty much limited to pizza and Taco Bell burritos which, let me tell you, I will be so happy if I never have to do that, at least for another six months. But anyway, long story short, we went apartment hunting. I had to do a lot of it on my own because my husband had to work. So um, I found this apartment in Salem, Massachusetts, which is really funny because I've always wanted to visit Salem. Never in my life did I ever think I would be able to visit or spend any time here really it wasn't even like it was more of like oh that'd be cool to visit and now I'm living in the middle of downtown Salem like everything that's cool to do in Salem is within walking distance of us which is insanely awesome I have not had a chance to really explore yet because we just got the apartment two days ago <laughs> as you guys can see this is this is where we're sleeping this is our air mattress which is in our living room uh, because we don't have our stuff yet and that leads me to another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, we were supposed to get all of our stuff on the 30th. Um, then we were supposed to get all of our stuff on the 2nd. And it is now the 4th, I think. And we don't even know where our stuff is. Like, I called the moving company, and the moving company can't get a hold of the driver who has our stuff. So we have no idea where our stuff is or when we're going to get it. Um, and that's like most of my art supplies too. I have like my sketchbook and a few supplies here, but all my main filming and art making supplies are gone. So I don't know when I'm gonna get those. I'm gonna try to start making videos again, maybe just some sketch with me videos or even some digital art stuff, stuff that doesn't require my whole arsenal of equipment. Um, but yeah, that's kind of really stressful because we don't have a bed or a couch or a TV or cooking stuff. I did go out and buy some cooking supplies. So roundabout, I wanted to talk back again that I am cooking for myself again and eating vegan, vegan again, so that feels really good. But we have really limited kitchen supplies. Um, I have my laptop, that's about it. <laughs> so yeah, life is kind of really up in the air right now. Um, and it's just really different. Like, I've lived in Las Vegas my entire life, so it's weird. I've visited other places, I've seen other cities and stuff, but I've never lived anywhere but Vegas, and it is very different, um, especially going from West Coast to East Coast. I didn't think there would be this much of a culture shock, but there kind of is. Um, not that the people are different, it's just everything. Like, the way the city works, the way the houses look, like, the houses are beautiful here. They're like colonial style, and I'm so used to cookie cutter, you know, suburbia in Las Vegas. Um, the nature is so gorgeous. I can look out my window and there's like a little lake and trees, and the trees are orange because it's autumn, and it's really cool. Um, it's just very different. And I hate driving down here. Driving down here is scary. Massachusetts drivers, you have California drivers beat because you guys are terrifying and you guys honk at everything. And like to get onto the freeway, there's like no merge lane. So you have to literally drive out into oncoming traffic and it's terrifying. So um, luckily there's public transportation. So I don't really have to drive anywhere because it's terrifying. Um, but yeah, I am starting to miss my family a little bit. I've never been far away from them like ever. So luckily we live in an age where Skype and phone calls exist. So I've been able to like call my family and talk to them and I'll be able to Skype with them on holidays and stuff. But it's very weird being just so far away from them and knowing that I can't like drive 20 minutes to go see my mom. Um, but I don't know. 
good and bad stuff. It's it's really, I haven't really had a time to really decompress and think about everything that's going on because I've been so busy running around doing stuff. Um, but yeah, that's basically where my life is right now. I'm waiting for the rest of our furniture. So hopefully once that happens, I can sort of start getting back into a routine and some kind of semblance of normal life. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of chat with you guys and let you know what's going on because I really enjoy talking with you and letting you know what's happening in my life and explaining, you know, why I kind of dropped off the radar for a little bit. I also did want to talk a bit about Vlogoween. I did have a lot more videos actually ready to go for Vlogoween, but um, I know this is bad, but I was looking at my analytics on the YouTube creator side, and while some of you guys I know really enjoyed the different videos I was making, those videos were actually hurting my channel and I was losing a lot of my audience. So I didn't want to do that. I didn't like that made me really scared. So I do want to make videos like that in the future for fun stuff, maybe even for Christmas time. I want to do maybe, um, what do they call it? Vlogmas? There we go. <laughs> um, I do maybe want to do Vlogmas and do other fun, different kind of videos, like maybe story times or different recipe videos. I really enjoy cooking, so I would love to make some recipe videos, other kind of vloggy stuff. Um, but all of that would go onto my second channel. So I have a second channel, Monique Renee Vlogs. Um, I may just change it to something else because it's not going to be just vlogs. I basically want to do like all the other kind of videos that I like to do and just slap them onto that channel. Um, that way I don't lose my audience here on my art channel because it seems like, for the most part at least, you guys want to see art videos and I totally get that. Um, but if you are one of the people who do enjoy those other kind of videos about my life or stuff that I like to do that's not art related, go check out my second channel and you can see all of those kind of videos there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to really talk about today. Um, a lot has been happening and I appreciate you guys for still being here. I apologize for disappearing for a while. I'm back now. Gonna be making videos, probably not to the same caliber as I was, but hopefully doing what I can until I can get my stuff back. Um, and yeah, check out that calendar for the YouTube Artist Collective. It definitely will help all of us out and you get a cool calendar out of it. It's a good Christmas present. Christmas is coming, so treat yourself. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I will see you guys next Friday with another video. And uh, until then, have a good one. Send good thoughts my way that I get my stuff soon. Let me know how you guys are doing too. Like what's happening in your guys' life? How was your Halloween? My Halloween was um, kind of low key. But the city of Salem, Massachusetts puts on a firework show on Halloween. I've never heard of another city that does that, so that was really cool. Um, but we were too busy to really go out and enjoy the festivities. But next year, I am going to celebrate twice as hard to make up for this year. But let me know how your guys' Halloween was. Let me know what's happening in your life. Are you going to school? Are you celebrating the holidays soon? Let me know how you're doing. I love you guys. Thank you for being here and being a tether to normalcy. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.